video, Maruch and I are here in representation of 500 members of an art and publishing collective called Taller Leñateros. We're located in Chiapas, Mexico. Most people involved in the workshop are descended from the ancient Maya. Um, the, the, in Socio Maya, um, a wise person is said to have books in the heart. The Maya had been making books, beautiful books, for over a thousand years when the Europeans invaded Mexico in the 16th century. Most of these ancient books have been destroyed by time, wars, the Inquisition. In Taller Lineteros, we're making the first books to be written, illustrated, printed, and bound in handmade paper, paper that we make, for in over 400 years. We started this workshop 35 years ago with an initial investment of $2. We have survived, we have survived over the years um, thanks to the sales of our art and our books. Our workshop has no subsidies. It also has no bosses. Decisions are made collectively during a Saturday brainstorming session in which all the members who want to can vote. Contemporary Mayan artists are, plaked, are practicing collective creativity in Taller Leñateros. We are trying to learn the process of group mind, focusing on our common goals. This video that we're going to be showing you is, uh, an, uh, is a video that we made to bring you here and to celebrate 35 years of Taller Leñateros. And um, we did an experiment without giving anybody really any instructions except do whatever you want. We made a collective mural five meters long. Uh, 35 artists participated. <coughs> Psychologists say that up until age six months, human beings remember that we are part of a greater whole. Call it the universe, society, nature, God. And then at the age of six months, we lose contact with the notion of wholeness and to start to feel separate from others. The left hemisphere of the brain, as mapped by neuroscientists, is the home of the separate self, the me who perceives, perceives her or himself as different and separate from the rest of the world. The right hemisphere of the brain is where creativity resides, along with euphoria, euphoria and a sense of incredible well-being, and also the realization of the interconnectedness of everything. Everything that comes into being, including thoughts and images, is interrelated. Nothing exists alone. Collective activity in nature can be observed in the life of the bees and the coordinated flight of birds such as swallows. Have you ever seen a flock of swallows making drawings in the sky? And also the coordinated navigation of fish in the ocean. I find it very inspiring to believe that all living beings are part of something much greater than our tiny, tragic individual lives. <laughs> Creativity links all forms of life. This seems to be taking a long time, but anyway. Um, 
We're all on the same team. We are creativity. So um, here, some of the members of the collective are recycling garbage to turn it into art. This is um, paper that's been thrown out by offices and print shops. And also, um, these books, the covers, are made out of recycled cardboard boxes. Which, it's, it's quite a laborious project, process, you know. They have to be boiled up and rinsed. It's taking out the staples and the scotch tape and things like this. Now, this, we also use renewable agricultural materials, such as this banana stalk. Uh, all over Chiapas, you know, the banana tree produces fruit once and then dies. And so uh, this material is usually burned. We make paper out of all sorts of um, industrial and agricultural waste, such as um, pine needles that are used uh, to put on the floor in, in the fiestas, um, grass clippings, uh, sugarcane waste, uh, banana trunks, Mexican papyrus. Anyway, it's quite a, uh, she's, uh, it's, it has to be boiled, sometimes in lye, then it's rinsed. Um, from a Western point of view, this is a very slow process, so please bear with us. This, uh, the paper is then torn apart, the paper from the, the offices is then wet and torn apart by hand. And then, this is a surprise, uh, we made contact, a south-south contact, with a paper workshop in Zimbabwe, Africa. And they make a Hollander beater that's operated by bicycle power. And we bought it. We bought one. And it took about a year for it to get to Chiapas here. Uh, one of, uh, this is uh, Pedro Alvarez, is uh, grinding the paper, grinding um, uh, banana fiber on this bicycle. Um, some people prefer electricity, you know. So this is uh, now the paper pulp has been prepared here. We put it in uh, some big tanks. This is uh, Losha and Mari. They're putting flowers. We also recycle a lot of flowers that the churches throw out, you know, after a week they get dried up. And also, a number of members of our collective grow fresh flowers, specifically for the papers. So uh, this is a new sheet of paper being taken out here with uh, bougainvillea and um, asparagus fern in it. Asparagus fern is left over from somebody's party, you know. You use it to adorn in Mexico. Um, in Chiapas, where, in San Cristobal de las Casas, where the, the taller is, it's very hard to dry the paper because we have six to eight months of torrential rains. It's, this is a big challenge for us. But it does, it does get dry. And um, some of the papers we make have interesting textures, too. Um, this one looks like a jaguar may have walked on it. And um, there still are a few jaguars that we get to walk on our papers. And uh, here, Losha is marking the paper with a basket. So it's, it's like corrugated. It's handmade corrugated paper, you know. This is another example of bar relief that we make. Um, 
Artist Tamana Araki showed us, well, here's some of the finished papers to see different fibers. Not all the papers um, have recycled paper in them. Some of them are made of pure fibers, like gladiola stems. So these are scraps that um, are left over after we cut up and make other things. So. In celebration of the 35th anniversary of Taller Liñateros, 35 artists work together to create a mural using a Japanese technique called kamihanga, which means printing with paper. We first made the paper by recycling rubbish like cardboard boxes, banana trunks, gladiola stems, pansy flowers, bean pods, coconut shells. Then, inspired by artist Tamana Araki, we cut forms from this handmade paper and glued them onto five meters of brown wrapping paper, along with vines, leaves, and dreams. Next, we rolled ink onto the whole piece and put it through the etching press to print our mural. We made 35 prints of the mural on collages of handmade paper. The whole process of Kamehanga Chingole was an exercise in collective creativity in which we were invited to feel free to do whatever you want. During the creation process, we felt euphoric. It was as though we were part of something much greater than ourselves. We were like a flock of swallows synchronizing our flight. <laughs> <laughs> Tamana Araki was our artist in residence. She received um, a grant from the Mexican government to spend six months with in the taller. She's from Japan. This paper that she's sticking on now is made out of uh, coconut husks. We boil coconut husks and put them through the blender. そして手作りの紙のコラージュの上に合計 some of the people who appear in this video and also Maruch are authors of this book, which uh, Incantations by Mayan Women, which is a um, collection of Mayan women's magic spells and songs. And also this book, which has a record in the back uh, where Maruch and other women are singing. Um, it's a popular song called the Bolong Chon. It's about a, it's about a jaguar. And the, uh, the original art is all made by Mayan women. So now they're starting to put it through the etching press here, inking it up. So now all the colors have black ink rolled on them because we're going to use we're going to use this mural that we made as a block print to print a series of the kamihangas. Este lienzo fue posteriormente entintado y pasado por una prensa para imprimir el mural. Sacamos 35 impresiones del mural encima de collages de papel hecho a mano. Todo el proceso de creación fue colectivo bajo la consigna de haz no, see, lo que tú that's quieras. That's what it looks like. They're peeling it off now. Durante el proceso de They're slowly putting it through the etching press, inking it up part by part. 
parte de algo más grande que nosotros mismos. Nos aquí. Como una bandada de aves volando todos juntos. Estaba pensando si ponemos un craft aquí en medio como para que ya no vaya a remarcar. So see, we had to put it up on the roof of the funeral home next door. We're sort of recycling death into life here. This is explanation in Sotzil. We hope to show this film to a lot of different people who speak different languages. It's a very euphoric time working on this. We human beings devote enormous quantities of material resources, time, and lives to competition and conflict, including wars that cause grave suffering and threaten to destroy life on Earth as we know it. The production and sale of arms is big business. We humans spend $1,000 billion a year on the military. That's $1 trillion. 41% of this budget has been supplied by the United States. What would happen if a portion of these resources were invested in investigation and education aimed at discovering, developing, teaching, and learning ways of cooperation and getting along? Consider that what is good for the collective human race is good for you and I as individuals. Thank you. <laughs>